Hello. First time horse mom is ever playing a game. Can you hear that music? The thing is, is they're going to be voicing things, so we're going to want to hear them. How quiet is that? Okay, one, ow! Why did I get the bonk? I didn't even do anything yet. <laughs> Touch louder, you got it. Let's do this. And, and this is the kind of game that, ow, when you click out, it stops the music. I'm very sorry about that. I didn't do that part. That isn't me, that's the game. All right. Uh, for the people that have not seen the first stream of this, or don't know what's going on, ow! Um, Shardlight is a story of Amy. Uh, the world is in post-apocalyptic ruin. Ham hands? No, I'm not. Oppressor, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. I can't wait for Coliseum. Do my best to donate and tune in. Yay! Um, ow! The bonkies. Um, Amy is living in this post-apocalyptic world that you can see. Um, many people are dying from a disease called green lung. I'm, I'm assuming this is going to sound very poignant to us right now. Um, the OST is amazing. The art is amazing, too. There's two classes of people in this world. The poor, who are all dying of green lung and living in shambles. And the higher-ups, who are the government and the rich people that fund the government, and that's it. Um, the rich people have access to the vaccine for green lung. You have to get it, like, once every month or something, or a few months to live but the poor don't have options to get it. They have to do lottery jobs for the government and they get a ticket for doing those jobs in the hopes that they can get drawn for the vaccine and get it for themselves. So that's you where we are. Too. Amy had to do a lottery job. She's trying to get the vaccine for herself but she's not telling anyone that she's sick with it. It's really good and <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we are now, we just found out by our job, we were sent and we found a dying man at our job who wanted us to deliver a letter to someone who's working in the underground resistance against the government. They want us to spy on the government to help. So, we go to the government and do our job and the government wants us to spy on the underground resistance. And they said they'll help us if we do that. So right now, we're like super double agent. Ugh. Uh, Mr. Wheelchair, they kind of go into it. There was a huge war, a nuclear war, I'm assuming. And that's what basically caused it, all the ruin. And as you can see, like, the whole world looks like this. Like, the air is yellow, the sky is yellow. Uh, this game came out, oh, a couple years ago? It's made by Wajidai, who, who made, like, the Deponia games and everything. Ugh, you'll see when we go. So now... We're trying to figure out how to break into the Ministry of Medicine for the underground resistance that we're a double agenting for. 2017, thank you. Korean Barbecue, thank you for the bits. Void Katie, thank you for the bits. Asha Moon, thank you for six months, girl. The chat will not be up for this game because you're going to want to see the pixel art trust. So that was the quick rundown. So now we're going to try. Our next course of, of, of business is to spy on a, a higher up who is getting the vaccine soon, so we can try to figure out how to break into the Ministry of Medicine. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, is this where we left off? I think it is. There's the ruined city in the background. The times I stream are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday and Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain. Friday at either four or six Mountain. <laughs> has started another Thank you for asking. Okay, yeah. I So I think we're ready to go to... We're going to spy on that well-to-do that has green lung now and he's being visited by a doctor. That's what we're going to go do now. I think that should be available on the map. No, Lily, not necessarily. It's totally up to you. Okay, so here's our map. Uh, I think we opened... So here's the ministry. We can't get in there yet. Um, oh, yes, we did. We opened the manor. So we spied on those, like, really rich, like, 
ladies at the square in the last episode, and they told us where Silas Harrison lived. He's the one that has green lung right now, and he's going to be visited by a Ministry of Medicine doctor. So maybe we can figure out how to get into the Ministry of Medicine by spying on him. Maybe we can, like, I don't know, steal an ID or steal a card or shit. Maybe we can even steal a doctor's outfit or something and, and sneak in there. We'll figure it out. Bye, Basking. Thank you. Spark Courtney, thank you for the bit. So let's go over there and see what we can do. Okay. <gasps> I'm Dr. Collins from the Ministry, here to see Mr. Harrison. Of course. He's in his room. Just walk down the hall. It's the fourth door to the left. Can you hear them well enough? Are they too loud or too quiet? Damn. Looks like I got here too late. Uh-oh. But maybe there's still a way I can get close to the doctor without being seen. It's good in, in relation to my voice as well, I hope. Okay, good. So this guy's just sitting here doing some topiaries. <laughs> We're not being very inconspicuous at all. All right, Amy, let's look around. Rattling the bush will only draw unwanted attention. Well, I mean, you're standing right there. It's not like, you know, <laughs> it's not like I can't see you. I don't think drawing attention to myself is a good idea. How does he not see you yet? I don't think I'll be able to just walk right into the manor. I'll need to be a little more subtle. She does look a little bit like Captain Marvel, doesn't she, Amy? He's chopping this little, I'm in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, he's chopping the little bush. Can you see? Okay, there you go. There's a tree. I should move my ass over. Hang on. <laughs> I'm in the way too much. Um, here, let's slide. Woo. You shut up too. Let me slide over everything else. Bonkies and, and all that. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Should be good. All right, so I think what we have to do here, now we have to be careful because we can get caught here. We don't want to be. Toxic Avenger, thank you so much for 29 months for a horse manure. I didn't poop anywhere. I did not poop. Yeah, it looks like an emu. I don't think that would be a good idea. What, touching it? It looks nice. Okay. Ah, oh, dark, I'm glad you liked it. Okay, here's the side of the house. Um, window. Time to do a little peeping. Oh. <gasps> the kitchen. Okay. Can we... How do we exit this? Uh... That's our inventory. Uh, it's unlocked. Oh, shoot! Uh-oh. Do I want to go in here? Oh. Hang on, I think first we want to peep in all the windows and see what's where. I don't want to get caught. Oh, God. Where's the exit for this? Oh, here it is. Okay, it's in front of my phone. That's why I couldn't see it. Um, there's another window here. Parkour! <gasps> Good evening, Mr. Harrison. What seems to be the trouble? You know damn well what the trouble is. I've got that blasted plague. Yeah. Hmm. What symptoms have you been having? Last week, the coughing started. Since then, it's only gotten worse. And yesterday, I hacked up some blood. Oh. I've had a fever all of today and haven't felt like eating anything since yesterday. Not to mention, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Oh, no. Hmm. I see. Have you been in contact recently with anyone showing symptoms of the disease? Well, two weeks ago, I was relaxing outside in my yard when some vagrant came by to ask if I could spare any food. Well, naturally, I told him I couldn't, but he became belligerent when he heard that and spat in my face. <laughs> to think, a man of my stature with green lung. I can't imagine the scandal. Green lung doesn't discriminate, Mr. Harrison. It can affect anyone. True. So can you do anything for me, Doctor? Not to worry. You're in good hands. Your support of the Ministry of Knowledge means you'll receive only the finest care the government can offer. Wow, must be I'm nice. I'm going to give you a dose of vaccine. That should fix you up by morning. But you'll need to get another dose in about a month's time. Why can't you eggheads at the Ministry of Medicine get off your collective asses and Rude. develop a cure already? God, this guy's We're mean. trying, believe me. This isn't an easy disease to cure, but the treatment works almost instantly. You'll see. So, I'm stuck getting this injection once a month for the rest of my life? Wow, complain more. So. Although I'm sure you'll agree that it beats the alternative. Mm, yes, well, that is true. I could be dying in the streets like those filthy mongrels <gasps> in the quarantine zone. Oh, yes, with rude. the monthly injection, you won't have to worry about entering. Let's not Oops. think about that. A dreadful business, really. 
Let's focus on my treatment. That was of course, rude. Just hold still a moment. There we go. You should feel like a new man in just a few hours. God, he didn't even deserve it. Now, I'm going to leave an appointment card here for you. Just bring it to the <gasps> Ministry of Medicine when you're due for your next That's vaccine what we need. dose. Can't I send my servant to get it for me? Oh my bring god. It back here? The green lung vaccine is a valuable commodity, Mr. Harrison. We don't release it to just anyone. Is that Dr. So Single? <laughs> can't you just come back and shoot me up when it's time? I don't want to have to go all that way. Wow! We'll see. I know you've curried favor with the aristocracy, I hate but him. I'll leave the card here just in case. I hate him. Bye. Oh, I don't like And him. I'll leave a little something with your butler to help you sleep. His but butt. give the vaccine a few minutes to circulate before you take it. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. None. Think nothing of it. Feel better, Mr. Harris. That doctor is a nice man. He didn't have to take all that. Hmm. That card is my ticket into the ministry. But how am I supposed to get it? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, he's Damn. ringing Where for his is butler. Where confounded servant of mine? But he can't hear it, I think, because the butler's outside, right? Are you sure this music isn't too loud? Let me know. Um, okay. Um... I think we have to do something in the kitchen first before we do anything else. <gasps> Camille! Thank you! Thank you so much! <laughs> Thanks! Ugh. Yeah, the voice acting in this game, you guys, is really, really nice. It's my dream. It would be my dream to voice a game like this. Alright, I think we can grab some stuff in here. Okay. I think one of the things we can grab, first of all, is, um, let's see, a ladle. I'm sure no one will notice one missing ladle. Might need a ladle, you never know. Alright, what else is in here? I've already got a weapon. But I could use a knife. Ugh, there are snails in here. Ew! Rich people are weird. Who's my favorite video game character of all time? Oh god, I don't know, how would I even choose? I don't know. I'm no baker. That can stay right where it is. But you might want some flour. Oh, there's some stuff right here. Hmm. Smells good. Why don't you have some? Um. I think if we use the ladle on the pot, I think we can get an achievement. Mmm, tomato. Yum! Yay, have some. Rich, creamy. All in all, an excellent soup. Amy hasn't eaten in days. Eat the rich man's soup. He's not gonna miss it. I just it. can't get enough of this stuff. It's good for you. My Eat up, Amy. compliments to the chef. One word. Delicious. Yay. Tomato soup is good. It's all gone. <gasps> Uh-oh. I didn't... Oops. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean to drink it all. <laughs> Soup crimes. Uh oh. Well, that's fine. Um, you know what? It's fine. It's his. It's his fault. I'm not the maid. Ow! Was that because I ate the soup? Did I do it lewdly? Um. Okay. I think what we need to. Oh, there's turkey here too. We could have. Well, if nobody else is gonna eat it. Yeah, have some, Amy. Hmm. A little dry, but. At least it's better than nothing. God. Ow. It doesn't fit. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, King of the Horde, how are you? Archiver J, thank you for gifting us up to Frostbin Glacian and Synther Time. Ow. Oh my god, I'm getting so many bonks. Eat all the food. Fuck the rich. Yeah, Amy hasn't eaten in like two days. I was never much of a tea drinker. Oh, tea's good though, right? Scones. They look stale. I'd rather not. Wow, Amy, we're like living in post-apocalyptic world. Like, don't be, don't be too weird about it. Just take, Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. So I think what we have to do here is open this window. I shouldn't mess around with the window right now. Wait, what? The servant might see me. Oh, I thought you needed to open one. I of shouldn't these. mess around with the window. The servant might see you. I was almost positive you had to open one of these windows. Hmm. I shouldn't mess around with the window. The servant might see you. The bell is just out of reach. Okay. I think we need to use the ladle on the bell. I shouldn't draw any attention to myself without a good reason. What do you mean? What do you mean, sir? 
Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, the servant didn't see us just sitting there eating all that, right? What if we go out and see what the servant is doing? Um, yeah, he's... Oh! Oh! I've given him a dose of vaccine. He should be back to normal by tomorrow. Oh, joy. <laughs> I'm so relieved. He hates him. If it's any help, I have some sleeping pills for him. He should be ready to take them shortly. Good. At least that'll give me some more peace for a while. <laughs> Soon enough, he'll start ringing that damn bell for everything again. Well, I wish you luck. I need to head back to the ministry now. Thank you, Doctor. Have a nice evening. You God, too. These rich fucks, though. Oh, yuck. Okay, I think we had to see that, actually. Okay, now I think we can do what we need to do. You know how point-and-click adventures go. We have to make sure that, like, we do everything in order. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so now we need the butler to hear that he's calling for him. So we're going to open the window here and use the ladle on the bell so we can hear it. <sighs> and so it begins. Sorry, dude. Oh shit, we better get out of here quick. Like extra quick? Like, I don't see it. No, like like get out of here and get out of here, Amy. Like quickly. Okay, and then we should be able to see him serve the soup over here. Cheese it! I have you hair. You rang for me, sir. I have. About ten minutes ago. What on earth took you so long? I was. Never mind the excuses. Just give me one of those sleeping pills the doctor gave you. Shut up. Yes, sir. Will you be wanting it with your usual lemon and elderberry tea? That's fine. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll return shortly. There's no soup we ate at all. <laughs> Modoc, thank you for four months. Okay. Finally. I thought he'd never get to Oh my god, look, he looks like he's dead. I'm moving so you can see it. Can you see it? Look, he's like, <laughs> he looks like he's dead. Maybe he is dead. Okay, now, now I think we can like sneak in here. I think we have to be really careful though. I might want to save. Um, cause you don't want to get stuck here. Okay. So we got to get that card, the appointment card, so we can get into the Ministry of Medicine. So. Ooh, here we go. Now, I think, uh, I think this scene is really sad. Quietly now. Come on, Amy. It's all right. Okay. And we're going to, where is it? I can't see. <laughs> I mean, it's in the, the bed. The card, here it is. My so phone's in the I'm way. So stealing an old man's only means of getting more vaccine. Don't worry about it, he's I an really asshole. I hope there's something in the ministry worth finding. Okay, we got it. We got it. This card says that Silas Harrison is entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. Ah, that's what we need. Okay, we're good. We're, let's just go. Oh no. <gasps> Amy? Uh, no, please. Oh God. Of all the times. Who's <gasps> there? Amy. Shit. Ophelia, is that you? Oh no. <laughs> They told me you were dead. Oh, my dear Ophelia, come back to take care of me while I'm sick. I knew you would. Oh. Oh, God. Ophelia, are you there, my love? <sighs> oh. That is pretty sad. That was a little too close. Oh, God. Whoa. Amy. Ah. Poor Amy. It seems like the attacks on her are getting worse. Also, it is a little sad that that dude like lost his wife and, and everything. And oh, that that is pretty sad. Maybe that's why he's such an asshole. Okay, we did it. All right, let's get out of here. Wait, is there someone in the window? You see that? And a raven. They're following us. We've seen like five of them already. What the fuck? Yes, Amy has green lung. Yes, she does. 
she, this whole game started because she had to take a lottery job because she's desperate to try to get a lottery ticket so she can get a vaccine. Because that's the only way that the poor people can get them um, is for is to have a lottery drawing for it. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to try to get into the Ministry of Medicine with the card that we have. Yeah, green lung gives you those attacks. They get worse and worse as time progresses. Like, you can't breathe. So she's in some trouble <laughs> right now. All right, so let's go. Ham hands? No, I'm not. So we've been here before to kind of fence out the place. Oh, the dark dude. Thank you so much for the bits. Have you ever heard the term plot to describe a character? Yes. Yes, I hate. Okay, um... Actually, you know what? I think we actually can't be here yet because the card, I think, says Silas Harrison. I think we might need it to say us instead, right? So how are we going to do that, though? Do we know someone who knows how to forge things? We do. Over at Centrix Factory. No, I don't look like an 80-year-old man. Maybe Demby can help. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go over and see what Demby's doing. Hey, boy. I'm back. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. If you're worried about that, you could always try knocking. Ew, fair point. So Demby is like a little brother to us. He's not blood-related, but he's like our little brother. And he's really cute as well. Demby, how you doing? Hey, Denby? Yeah? I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Ah. Uh, Thanks. Let's give him the card and see what that does. Denby, you mentioned before you were good at copying handwriting. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could copy this doctor's writing? Shouldn't be a problem. What do you need me to do? Change the name on this card to mine. Oh, yeah. Easy. Just give me two minutes. No, Denby's not sick. Just Amy right now. There you go. Hey, nice job. Thanks. All right, so now it works, right? This card says that I'm entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. Yay. No, you're right, Syra. She usually does wear a mask, so I'm assuming they're they're trying to make it seem like she's okay and not infecting everybody. <laughs> but um but yeah, time for me to go. Okay. See ya. Bye, Denby. I love Denby. Oh, Demi does not care. Like, the poor people, they don't follow the rules. They're all, like, helping each other because, like, it's really tough. Nobody likes the government or the popo here if you're poor. Like, they just don't. So it's fine. All right. Now, do th I don't know. Is this going to work? I have no idea. All right. So let's try to give our card to the guard to get in. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Is that so? I assume you have an appointment? Yes, I I've got my card right here. Is it gonna work? So you do. All right, I'll open the door for you. You'll be checked in and directed to his office. This is much like Enjoy Fallout. Day, so like, feel all the government's Thanks. wearing like old colonial stuff and like old, you'll see. And they're all named after Roman <laughs> leaders as well. Like when we see Tiberius and the other ones, you'll see them. All right, let's go. Here goes nothing. I'm I'm worried. This this is nerve wracking. This part is dangerous. Oh God, it's nice in here. Uh, hello, Miss. May I help you? Hello. I've got an appointment with Doctor Collins. I see. Yeah. Is there a problem? He can tell we're poor. Uh, well, how can I put this kindly? You don't exactly look like our normal type of visitor. Yeah, he can tell. What does that mean? It's just the way you're dressed, it's not typical of the people we normally see here. The poor don't get in How here. How exactly did you get your appointment, if I may ask? Only the rich. Oh, uh... Isn't the sprite work in this game amazing? I love it. It's... The, oh my god, it's it's goals. It's so good. What should we do? Oh, we could give him the password. Remember, Danton told us that there is a spy for them in the Ministry of Medicine. Maybe this man is the spy? It's it's risky though. Ooh. I guess it's because I've got the perfect life. Is it him? What? 
Is Danton stupid? Oh my god, didn't she at least tell you to get a disguise? Well, she did, actually, but I found a better way. You do realize how much you stand out, right? Yeah. If you try and see the doctor looking like that, they'll call security and have you escorted Ugh. out. Uh, yeah. Then they'll start asking me questions about why I let you in, and things will only escalate from there. So, True. any ideas on how I can get a disguise? I'll have to think about it. Just don't go any further into the ministry until we figure something out. Ask your device. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's talk. Can we talk to him about some stuff? Hey. What can I help you with? Can I have your clothes? <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to ask about. Is the central storage room accessible from here? Sorry, I don't know. They keep the location secret. And I'm not at a high enough rank to have that information. That's where we're supposed to go, by the way. That's where Danton told us to find. It's the central storage unit. What's that panel used for? It's a directory. Navigating the ministry can be a bit daunting, so it's designed to ease the process. People still manage to get lost, though. I don't know why they made this place so confusing. <laughs> get naked, I need your clothes. Any idea where I can find some nicer clothes? So have you thought of a place to get a disguise yet? Honestly, the only place I can think of would be the staff locker room. It's just down the hall. Hopefully you won't run into anybody on the way there. Oh god. Just look it up on the directory so you know where to go. And be extremely careful. If my cover gets blown because of you... I'll be discreet, I promise. Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Okay. He means this panel here. Ooh, okay. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Whoa! Please select a destination or request directions. Man, you got people dying in the streets and you guys have like a Siri built into your wall to tell you where to go? Request directions. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please say the name of the room you would like directions to. Uh, the staff locker room. The staff locker room? One moment, please. Walk down the hall two meters, then make a left. Do you require further directions? God. Uh, no, but I guess we can do all of them. Dr. Collins' office. One moment, please. Follow the West Wing Hallway, three doors down, then make two rights, followed by a sharp left. What? It is the fourth door on the left. Damn! Do you require further directions? Central store. It probably won't tell us this, huh? Central storage. One moment, please. Error. Password required. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. You do not have proper clearance to access that information. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. This game came out in 2017, but it's supposed to emulate the um, pixel uh, point-and-click adventures of old, which it really does. All right, so I think we can just go to the locker room now. Oh, God, I hope we don't get caught. Uh, okay. Uh, what's in here? Coat? Can we use that? The ministry seems like a pretty tight ship. I don't think I'll be able to disguise myself in this doctor's coat without raising any suspicions. True. But let's just see if there's anything in the pocket. Nope, nothing. Oh well, it was worth a try. Okay, bag? Let's see what we've got in here. Anything good? Nothing much except a pair of shoes. They look like they might fit. Okay, we got shoes. That's all right. Uh, there's also shoes These here. Are a pair of men's shoes. Oh, they're too big for me. Well, I mean, still. All right, uh, cart. Hmm, interesting. Oh, a bottle, a tin, and a rack. Okay. Oh, sorry. The exit is like right here behind me. You can't see it. Um, hmm. Lockers, lots of them. Locked, of course. Locked, of course. Are any not locked? Locked, of course. Did anyone leave it open? Locked, of course. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. <laughs> God damn it, Camille. Locked, of course. <laughs> locked, of course. Okay. This one is empty, but yeah, I can see the lock mechanism it. and it's surprisingly <laughs> simple. It shouldn't be too tough to jimmy one of these open. Thank you, Korean I just need barbecue. Thin to get in the door frame. Oh, she can jimmy the lock. Okay. 
Um, do we have anything we can jimmy the lock with? Oh, Alita, thank you so much. You got your first vaccine dose. Yeah. Sir Ciniac, thank you for the host earlier. The dark dude, thank you for the bits. Modoc, thank you for earlier. Oh my gosh. I think we have something we can jimmy the lock open with. What about this card? What about Diet? This should do the trick. Aha. Uh -huh. This set of clothes looks promising. Okay. Hopefully we don't run into the person that these clothes belong to. Nothing else I need in there. Because then <laughs> they're going to be like, excuse me? Are you wearing my clothes? It just seems weird. All right. Uh, Can I take a shower? I, I'm probably right. very dirty. I better make this quick. Okay, let's take a shower. Oh, that was <gasps> nice. We look cool. I can't remember the last time I took a hot shower. Oh, we look nice. Yeah. All right, let me save because I'm a little bit worried here that I'm going to fuck something up. Puck. All right, now that we look good, uh, did I take everything I need in here? There's a mop. I'm not about to start mopping floors. Listen, if there's ever an accident, you'll be I there. I shouldn't take it down. All right. Hi, Nikofu. I've been one for a Welcome while. To Hi, Scott. Please select a destination. The plot of this game is that um, it's post-apocalyptic world. The poor, there's only two classes of people, the poor and the rich and the government together. The poor are all dying from a, a, a disease called green lung from the nuclear war. And the government is says that they don't have enough vaccine for everybody, so only the rich get it, and the poor have a chance to get it on lottery by, jo by doing dangerous jobs that nobody else wants to do. Amy is us, the protagonist, and we have green lung. Um, so we're very sick, but we're trying, we're kind of working with an underground resistance to try to figure out if the government is hiding something. Um, and the government wants us to spy on the underground resistance. So we're kind of like double agenting right now, but we haven't decided which side to go with. So we're trying to, right now we're trying to break into the Ministry of Medicine to see if there's anything we can find out about what's going on here. All right, let's go to Dr. Collins' office. <clears throat> sorry, also my voice is really bad today. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. Oh, God, I'm scared. I'd hate to be that poor guy on the right. There's just like medical posters. That looks like Tiberius. A recruiting poster for the vaccine lottery. I can't deny it's an effective campaign. Hmm. Hello. Hi there. I'm Amy. What? Oh, hello. I'm Robert. Hello. Was there something in particular you wanted? Not really. I was just saying hello. I see. Well, not to be rude, but I've got a lot on my mind. Oh. I'm not really in the mood for small talk. Uh oh. Okay. Well, it is a doctor's office. I said anything. I can, I can, I can relate. Hello, lady. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood to talk right now. I'm sure you understand. Oh, that's Marichka's voice actor. I think. Uh, I think we can take a brochure. This seems like it might be interesting reading material. Okay. Anything else? No need to push furniture around. What if I wanted to? I'm not sticking my hand in there. Look, you could wash your hands. I already took a brochure. Okay, there's a brochure there. Uh, The Aristocracy, Guiding Tomorrow's Youth. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's talk to the ladies. Yes, may I help you? Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Um, I have an appointment with Dr. Collins. I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Do you have your appointment card? Uh, yes. It's right here. Great. Hmm. Amy Wellard. Uh -oh. I don't seem to have you in the registry. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay, not a problem. Just fill out this form for me, have a seat, and we'll call you in shortly. Okay. Thanks. Okay, okay, I'm scared, because what if they find out? Alright, we're gonna have a seat. I'm just worried they're going to give him the maximum punishment. I don't know what to tell you. The aristocracy doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. Have you been able to speak with him? Yes, I know. They took him in for questioning yesterday. Not even family can see him until they decide what they're going to do. Oh. I guess the worst case scenario is he ends up in Rockwall for a few years. I can't believe he could be so selfish as to not even consider what this will do to his family. What happened? What am I supposed to tell my grandchildren? No, your daddy won't be home for Christmas because he was selling counterfeit lottery tickets to poor people. <gasps> oh. At least they'll know not to do what he did. 
Oh, that's bad. Miss Wellard, you can go inside. Dr. Oh, no. Collins will be in to see you momentarily. That's not cool. Oh, food. and if you need to schedule a follow-up appointment, don't forget to speak to me afterwards. Okay, we're going. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, uh... Table. I think we have to examine things quickly before the doctor comes in. Sink? I just had a shower. My hands are clean right now. Okay. No, I think that's private. Photograph. The doctor would definitely miss this. Okay. Jar? Well, maybe just one won't hurt. What is it, candy? Well, maybe just two won't hurt. <laughs> I'll just have one more. Yay, candies! I don't think one of these would do me any good. Take all the candies. I think the doctor would miss this if I took it. Well, then what's the point of looking? I don't need any soap. Yes, you do. No, I think the dirt under my fingernails adds a certain charm to my appearance. Amy, didn't you just take a shower? The doctor will notice if I take this. I need another way of keeping this information. I'm not sure I can see anything useful hmm. to do there. The doctor will notice if I take this. I need another way of keeping this information. Can I read it? The doctor will notice if I take this. Hmm. The doctor will notice if I take this. I need another way. Okay, uh... Microscope? There's nothing on it to examine. Uh, examine table. I should table. probably wait until the doctor gets here before I sit on the table. Uh... I should probably... Hmm. There's something we have to do in here and I don't remember what. Crutches? I don't need them. Wash basin? I'd really rather not. Bookshelf. They're mostly medical text. Okay. Uh, a bust. <laughs> I'm no doctor. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I think there's a way that you can look at, um... I shouldn't touch it. Who knows what's in there? Take the skeleton hand. Okay. I'm not getting near that thing. <laughs> can we use... There's a lot of interesting... Hmm... Shoot, I better not forget I what I have to do. I can't make heads or tails of this one. Yeah, we need the paper, but I forget how to look at it. Um, I should probably wait. Doesn't look very comfortable. Shoot, how do we do this? Does anyone remember how? I think you're supposed to... You have to read this. But how do we get Amy to read it? Is the thing. Because she won't take it into her inventory. Do we have anything... That would help. I don't think that we do. Medical form. Right. This is ah, obviously ah, ah, okay. important. So let me just copy it down. I got it. I got it. Okay, so we got it, right? Did we? I wrote down what it said on the ah. doctor's notepad. Okay, okay. This okay. week's CS password equals next week's surgery. Oh, the password. CS for central storage. Okay. We've got it. Okay, fine. I'm gonna save real quick. I'm nervous. <laughs> I think you can fuck this part up. I should probably wait until the doctor gets here before I sit on the table. Really? If he's not coming in, I mean- Oh, no, he is! Oh. Good afternoon, Miss Willard. Hello, Dr. Collins. Thank I've you, exactly! i that this is your first visit. Is that right? Uh-oh. Yes, that's right. Do you think right. he knows? You look somewhat familiar. Are you sure you haven't been here before? Uh. Yes. I'm sure. You must just have one of those faces. Okay. In any case, what are you here for today? I have green lung. The symptoms started about a week ago. I see. If you'll just have a seat on the examination table, I'll do a quick checkup and administer your vaccine dose. Oh boy. There you are. You should notice a decrease <gasps> in symptoms we within got it. an hour. Thank you, doctor. Oh, Miss Wellard? Yes? I swore an oath to do no harm and heal the sick, so I would never turn away someone <gasps> seeking vaccine. Uh-oh. But I'd like to offer you a suggestion. When sneaking around other people's houses, <gasps> don't stand so close to the windows. I'm sure you're aware of the consequences if you were ever caught. Uh Understood. Oh. Oh my god. He knew. He knew the whole time. Oh! You shut up too. Uh oh. Chaotic Ether, thank you so much. 
Oh boy. Okay, I'm scared now. <laughs> uh, he he was a good guy though. He said he was gonna do it no matter what, because that's what he took the oath to do. Oh man. Okay, so we know that the password is next week's surgery, but how do we find that out? I think we have to go to the window. I hope he doesn't snitch on us. Yes, may I help you? Uh, follow-up appointment. I was told to schedule a follow-up appointment. Of course. Let me just show you our calendar, and you can pick a date that works best for you. Oh, okay, this is how we look. Okay, so next week's surgery. So this is this week. Um... So next There's week? already something scheduled on that day. How do we how do we read it? Today's though? date. It says house call Silas Harrison. Okay. It says surgery Paul Scott medulla oblongata. <gasps> That's it. Next week. Oh, next week surgery. <laughs> okay, medulla oblongata. That yeah, brain surgery. Has everyone got that? Okay. How about this date? Perfect. I'll pencil you in. All set. See you soon, Miss Weller. Okay, I think we got away with it, guys. I think we got away with it. Uh. <laughs> Abla. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. God, it's so loud. Everyone's gonna hear what I'm doing. Uh, I'd like to. Central storage. Oh, I think we just have to say it. Uh, medulla oblongata? Password accepted. Oh. One moment, please. Okay. Central storage is located to the left of the administrative Can't everyone in the room hear us? Oh my god. I'm like shaking over here. Ugh. Nothing else. This is Thanks. not very covert. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. This isn't very subtle, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, okay. We're in. I'm scared as hell. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay, uh, what's in here? Hopefully there's no cameras. I don't well, see if any. if someone was careless enough to leave this box cutter here, we'll just go with the I'm old in. finder's keepers rule. Oh, a box cutter, nice. Okay, we've got a box cutter. Um... And that there's an alarm and a terminal, a chute. I don't think opening this door is going to be quite that simple. It's gotta be behind this door, right? Okay. Shoot. I don't think this chute will open manually. I don't have pierced hair. I have a, a hairpin in my hair. Like a, a little accessory, you know? An alarm. There's not much I can do to it with my bare hands. Okay. Right. How do you think we're gonna get that open? Since the door seems to be tied to an alarm system, if we set off the alarm, do you think the door will open? But it'll also set off the alarm. So how are we gonna, how do we silence the alarm, do you think? Um, what would you like to know? <laughs> and then it's like shouting at us. Can we silence it with this? There. That should muffle the alarm if it okay, goes Okay, 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 okay. Um. Floor cleaner. Put it in a bucket. Okay, let's get some of this cleaner in the bucket. I think we need to start a fire. Um. Bleach powder? With floor cleaner? That's probably dangerous, right? <laughs> uh... Actually, we might not even need that. Put it on the floor. This looks like a good spot. Oh god, we're gonna like light this whole place up. I know it. Um. Oh god, um. What else do we have? Uh, do we need paper? We might. Need paper to start the fire? This medical form will be more useful in here. Okay. I mean, we already got the password, right? Oh my god, we're probably going to fire the pistol at it. I just realized. But we probably also need to cut... Oh, there's a wire Pulling here, too. Pulling wire might trigger the alarm. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Which wire do we want? I'm assuming this one next to the alarm. Right? Because we want the door to open still, so we, we want to leave those alone. 
but we don't want it to sound anywhere else. Well, okay. now if the alarm goes off, the okay, alarm okay, will okay, at least okay, be okay, limited okay, to this okay, room. Okay, 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 okay. Red wire, yellow wire, <laughs> red wire. Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. What are we gonna find in there? Like, I'm worried. Um. Okay. Uh, let's think. Uh, what else do we have? We have... I think we just have to fire the pistol because it's a flintlock. It's gonna make a spark. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. <laughs> that did it. Oh. I'll put out the fire before it gets out of control. Was that enough? Okay, it made a fire, but it wasn't enough. Okay. Maybe I need to look at this too. Emergency override? <gasps> my god. Oh my god! There's enough vaccines stored in here to treat the entire population for years. They lied about it. Danton was right. The government has been lying to everyone all along. Oh no. This isn't right at all. The people need to know the truth. God. What do we do? <laughs> I'm scared. <sighs> um. Um. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> Amy Wellard, by order of the aristocracy, you are under arrest for trespassing on private property, breaking and entering, theft, and tampering with official Ministry of Medicine documentation. Oh, I'm sure there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Our orders are quite clear. You are hereby ordered to come with us for detention in Rockwall Prison. Don't I at least get some kind of trial first? We're here to escort you to Rockwall, not to answer questions. If you do not cooperate, we have authorization to shoot you on the spot. You are also ordered to return those stolen clothes to their proper location before leaving the ministry. <sighs> Amy! Fine. Let's go. We've been arrested. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Well, we've got a visitor. <gasps> Tiberius! Good evening. Tiberius, you can't let them keep me here. I'm very sorry, my dear, but things are a bit complicated. I came to explain your position. Go on, then. I'm listening. Do you remember the day we were bombed, Miss Wellard? I can recall it quite well. I was young, but yes, I was in school. I lost a lot of friends that day. My mother, too. My condolences. You are aware that the reason we were attacked was for control of petroleum and mineral supplies, yes? Uh... What's that got to do with anything? No, that's a mask. That's not Tiberius' face. All of the leaders and uh, guards and the higher-up governments wear these colonial clothes, but the leaders, like Tiberius, are all named after Roman leaders and they all wear masks that are strange. Sure, but... What has that got to do with anything? Rebuilding our society has not been an easy it's task. It's a gas We mask. still have much to do. Of utmost importance is maintaining order. Do you understand this? Then why are you telling people supplies of vaccine are limited? You could help everyone and work on finding a permanent cure. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. And if we were to cure the population and allow our society to thrive once more, what do you suppose would happen next? I love Tiberius' aesthetic. Yo, Tiberius can get some. He's bat shit mad. But he can still get some. <laughs> Is that weird? But he's also really fucking scary. Oh my god. So he so, so Tiberius is saying he knows he could cure everyone right now, but what will happen if he does? What will happen if he does? Yo, he does have a butt, though. Check it. But wouldn't things be great if you... If you cured everybody? It would be great. People could live normal lives again. Not have to worry about scavenging or dying Hi, of the plague. 
Of course, and when a rival nation caught wind of that prosperity and decided we had something they wanted, um, we oh. would be attacked, experience the horror of war all over again. I would not wish the bombings we experienced on my worst enemy. I cannot let that happen again. I will not let it happen again. Do you understand me, Miss Wellett? I'm aware that the current system is not perfect. There is a clear class divide, but we are not tyrants. The aristocracy has always striven to care for the citizens who provide aid, despite their circumstances. Um, In any case, I am genuinely sorry that things had to turn out this way. You did perform your job quite well, perhaps too well. I was just doing as you asked. I asked you to infiltrate the rebels and gain their trust. I did warn you that my protection could only go so far. You could easily have come back to me and informed me of Danton's plans to invade the Ministry. She threatened to have me killed if I set foot anywhere near your tower. What was I supposed to do? Informed one of my guards, sent along someone you trusted with the information. Though it hardly matters now, I've gotten all the information uh -oh. I need. But how? With this. A gold ball on a Ow. string? A clever listening device <gasps> my soothsayer came up with. It he was, was placed spying in on the us. handle of your crossbow. I have been tracking you in order to ensure I learned the location of Danton's... Oh, he knows where they are! You've been spying on me this whole time? Why didn't you just tell me you were listening in? Oh, no! It was a test of loyalty, Ow. and unfortunately, <gasps> you failed. It's truly a pity. I would have loved to give you your payment. You could have continued spying, opened up a mechanic shop, serving the government... Double-crossed! Alas, I, I cannot reward criminal behavior. It would not be looked upon favorably by the public. He knew. We would lose the support of citizens like Mr. Harrison. He knew we were so double-crossing You're just leaving me in here to rot? I'm afraid not. Order must be preserved. He knew. I find myself forced to tie up loose ends. Danton and her rebels will be eliminated. As for you, it really does pain me to have to do this. But the truth is, I have no choice in the matter. You must be executed. Yeah, without trial. Yeah. What? Why? I understand this is difficult for you. However, my hands are tied. I simply cannot take the risk of keeping you alive. And what if I promise not to tell anyone about the vaccine horde? I'm afraid you've proven to me already that I can't trust you. In any case, I wish to thank you for your service. I'll make sure your execution is quick and painless. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Miss Wellard. Again, I am quite sorry. Oh. Everyone tied to us is in trouble now. Oh! Hmm? A bird! The raven! Hi, everyone who said hello when we were in the middle of that cutscene. Hi. I'm sorry I didn't say anything, but this is, like, super important to the story. Um, I'm gonna save. On a different game, in case. Oh my god, this music is so good. The bird. What do you want? To come in here? You'd best fly away, bird. Look at him, he's just there. Bench. I'd rather avoid sitting on that thing if I can help it. What's this? Pile. It has red eyes. Most of this stuff is just junk. Hmm. What's this? Huh. Looks like the previous occupant at least got a dose of vaccine. Oh well. An empty syringe might be useful in a scrape. Ew. Oh my god, Amy. That's hardcore. Drain? There's a drain. It's already open, and I'm not using it. Oh, it's for poop. Okay. Uh. Oh, it closes too. It hasn't got any buttons or anything I can mess with on it. There is an opening at the bottom, though. Hmm. How do we get it open, do you think? Hmm. It hasn't got any. This panel seems to have something to do with the electrified window. What do we have on us? Oh, everything's gone. Oh, he did give us the I listening device, though. I should get rid of this though. stupid thing. But maybe it can help me. Oh. Oh, 
Oh god, this is like Phoenix Wright all over again. I'm going to need something long and thin if I want to do that. Oh. Hmm, let's see if this works. Aha! Interesting. This wire could be helpful, and it makes this thing useless to Tiberius. Seems like a win-win situation. Okay. We just broke it, but we got some wire, I think. I don't need to... Yeah, we did. We got some wire. A medium length of wire. Okay. If worse comes to worse, I could probably just hang myself with it. No, Amy, don't do that. Maybe we can use this to get open the panel, like on the bottom? This should fit through the opening at the bottom. There. Okay, now we've got wire hanging down. Uh, so if we put the wire on the electrified panel, we'll short it? The wire it? is live. I could probably move it with my foot, but I don't know what that would accomplish right now. Hmm. Uh, how are we gonna get it over there? Hey! Anybody <laughs> out there? What are you yelling about in there? Oh. There's a weird looking bird here. I have to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. So use the toilet in your cell. All you have to do is wave your hand over it and it'll open up. Oh. There's a weird bird staring at me through the Hi, window. Hi, Poopug. Yeah, sometimes they sit at the windows. Don't worry, the electrified mesh will keep them out. Never mind. Okay, and then maybe put the wire. Hope this works. In the drain. Oh, cause there's water. Oh. What are you doing, little guy? <gasps> well, I wasn't expecting that. What a smart bird. Bird opened it. Right. Time to get out of this hellhole. Oh. Oh my God, Amy. You have sent the soldiers to the market district? Ooh. Yes, Minister Tiberius. They're heading over as we speak. Excellent. And the spy in the Ministry of Medicine? Uh-oh. Taken care of. <gasps> Good. They're dead. With regards to Miss Wellard's execution, please be sure to tell the firing squad to aim for the head. Don't drag it out. Oh, no. Yes, Minister Tiberius. Oh, such unpleasantness. I really take no pleasure in having to do this sort of thing. I just hope it will all be over soon. Good evening to you. Tiberius had everyone connected with us, sought after, and they killed the guy in the Ministry of Medicine. Oh no. Oh, he's dead. Oh no. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, what do we got around here? Empty. Yeah, this is stealth now, pretty much. Uh, am I in the way of stuff? Yeah, I am. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna... I'm going to push myself over a little bit so I can see. Or so you guys can see. Uh, see, there's a, the bird's right here. I'm, I'm in front of him. Here he is. Um, water tank, a hole. I can't think of anything I could do with that. Speakers. Ow, that hurt. And it didn't make a very loud noise. The bird is watching us, too. It's beyond repair. And the base is screwed into the roof, so I can't push it over. Okay. I had some way of getting those screws out. Do we? Um, okay. What is he, what is our friend gonna do? Oh, we waved to him. right at me. Almost like he's waiting for instructions. Uh, oh, he's... He's gonna help us, okay? Uh, point at the guard. Can you go, can you do something with the guard? <gasps> something fell. Okay, can we get the raven to get that for us? Point at shiny object. Thank you, bird friend. <gasps> we got it, what is it? What did we get? A coin. A small silver coin. I don't think these are particularly valuable. But we could use it to unscrew the thing, right? I think so. <clears throat> Shh. 
She said she needs to unscrew this. There. Should be nice and loose now. <laughs> Layered. Um, okay. A small... So okay, um... And I think there's something we can do with this, too. With speakers. Huh? Oh! Oh, okay, uh... Now- oh, 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 oh! Quick, Amy! Push it on him, because he's over here! <gasps> Amy! Oh, the bird flew away. Okay, let me shove myself over. <laughs> Amy. Amy just killed a man. Uh, big time. Big time killed. Oh my gosh. Oh, he got smushed big time. Okay. Oh god. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. Gross. Ow. Can we search him? No, we can't. We can just get out of here, I think. Where's the exit? Exit. I hope it's not too late to warn Danton about the attack. That's right, we gotta warn them that they're coming. I hope we have time. <gasps> no! Oh, no! Clem! Uh... Amy, Th that you? Yes, Clem. I'm here. Maz. <gasps> oh my god. There's nothing I can do for him now. A vase, he said. Where? I'm not interested in this stuff. Where's the vase, Clem? Oh, it's here in front of me. What's this? It looks like there was a note hidden inside the vase. Poor Clem. Also, guys, the door is open. I am scared of that what does the note say what the fuck i e s n h m v l or v u a p o c l b w r what okay ah uh, the door's open that's bad Ugh. okay let's go see Oh no. no. Uh oh. It's too late. <sighs> At least it looks like they put up a good fight. I just hope Danton managed to escape. Oh god. There's nothing I can do for him. I'm not sleeping here. Oh god. They're beyond help. Oh no. This is scary. No, no way I can piece it back together. There's nothing I can do for him. Nothing I can do for him now. Ugh. Dude, don't <gasps> move! I know how to use this thing! Amy? What are you doing here? Ugh! I'd ask the same thing. What were you thinking? You could have killed me. Sorry. Pretty brutal in here, huh? I couldn't believe how many guards they sent in. Just hand over the crossbow before you have an accident, would you? Okay, fine. Here. <laughs> oh, God! You guys! That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I know even the piano guy got scared. Oh my God, Demi, why are you in here? I'd love to beat something up right now, but this is ruined. Hey, don't look at me. Denby, what the fuck are you doing? All right, um, map. Oh no, what is this? Morbid, but maybe I can use it. It is rope. Rope is useful in an adventure game. All right, so let's take that. Denby? Yeah? Denby, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing back there? I'm scavenging, isn't it obvious? I guess, You need but... to snap, Denby. Sorry. It's just that a couple of guards came by the factory and I had to leave, so I've got no place to stay right now. Well, did they see you? No. I was able to hear them coming and got away. Oh, God. Okay. What are you looking for? 
I heard these rebels had some information on where to get vaccine. And why would that interest you? Um, no reason. Tenby, you can tell me. Uh -oh. You know that. Tenby, are you sick? Last week, I went into the quarantine zone looking for parts to sell to Gordon, and... <gasps> well, I thought I'd been careful, but this morning, I started coughing up he blood. He went to the quarantine zone? Tenby, what the hell? Your mother is going to kill you! Great. It'll save the green lung the trouble. I can still die pretty. If you're desperate, fine. But why on earth did you go into the quarantine zone? Because that's where the best stuff is. Nobody goes in there, so everything in the buildings is more or less intact. It sucks, I know, but I knew the risks going in. Oh, damn. How did you manage to get back out? I thought it was designed to keep people in for good. You just have to know where to look. So there is a way in and out of the quarantine zone. But at what cost? Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where were you when the attack happened? Did you see anything? Not all of it, no. I mean, I saw like the guards walk past and bust down the door, but once the fighting started, I got out of there. Those guys looked like they meant business, and I wasn't going to stick around to see what they were going to do. Did you see if Danton managed to escape? Danton? The lady with the cool hat? Yes, that's her. <laughs> yeah, I saw her run outside and kill a couple of guys with her sword. It was awesome. I'm sure it was. Did you see where she went? Nah, she ran off with a couple of guys. I didn't go after them. Well, at least I know she made it out alive. Okay, so Danton might have made it. Okay. What's that on the blackboard? What's all the stuff on the blackboard? I don't know. It looks like a bunch of scribbles and some pegs. For all I know, it could be some kind of secret code, but I have no idea what it means. Hmm. Never mind. Okay. Oof. Okay. So Denby's scavenging. Uh, is there anything else we can look at here? I'd rather not. He hasn't got anything useful to me anyway. Um... What if... Now, this is a long shot, because a lottery ticket doesn't guarantee that we get a vaccine, but we have already gotten the vaccine for ourselves. For now. We could give the lottery ticket to Denby. He probably needs it more than us. It's a chance. It's a long shot, but at least he'll have a ticket. Denby? Yeah? You're absolutely sure the guards didn't see you back at the factory? Yeah. Positive. Why? Here, take this. You have a lottery ticket? Why would you give this away? It's a long story, but let's just say it's no use to me anymore. Hang on. Does this mean... Just take the ticket and get out of here, Denby. You've got enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Amy. Oh. I wish I had something to repay you with, but all I have are these strings I found back here. It's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Well, I mean, you might as well take them. It's not like I'm really going to do anything with them. Okay, fine. All right. Thanks, Denby. Good luck. All right. Denby, go, go hide yourself somewhere. All right, so we've got strings now. Paper, crossbow, and a rope, and a syringe. And then this. What's this? What the fuck? Oh, this is what we need the paper for. I-E-S-N- H M V U Okay. What if What if we take the string Are these letters on the thing? Is there like I and E? There is. What if we take the strings and connect the letters that are there? So like I to E, right? Like that. I'm not sure how I can use- Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I-E and then S-N. Okay. So S and N. Okay. Oh, thank you guys. You guys wrote it down for me. H-M. Okay, H and M. Okay. V-U. Uh, where's V? V- U? Okay. A P A to P O C Mm. Uh where's O? Oh, it's over here. O C L B L N B 
and then W and R. M Milton? Milton. Of course. That was the name of the technician <gasps> in right. Sector 82. The guy it's that we saved. Shot, but well, we didn't save him. Got. We killed him, actually, but he asked to be killed. That guy, from the beginning. Oh! We have to go back to the reactor. Okay. I can do for Let me save it before we go. Okay. No one else jump out of me, please. Okay. Oh my god, poor Clem. Oh, exit please. It's hard because my phone is right in front of it, sorry. <gasps> we can't even go to the marketplace anymore? We have to go here first, I think. I wanted to check on Gordon and Gus and Marichka and make sure they were okay. Can we do that? No, it only brings us here. What the fu- Okay. I'm worried about them too. Shoot. Okay. <gasps> Minister Tiberius, I have news. Uh-oh. Go on then. The attack on the rebel base was mostly successful. We suffered a few casualties, but we managed to eliminate the majority of the traitors. Mostly successful? Their uh. leader managed to escape with a few others. She's no pushover, that one. Yes, this much was made clear from the start. I suppose this can be considered a small victory. Although the inconvenience of finding Danton again will be great, at least we've managed to quell their growth. Very good. If that is all, you are dismissed. Ah, there is one more thing. Uh-oh. Yes? I've just checked with Rockwall and... The prisoner, Wellard, somehow managed to escape. Uh-oh. I see. Call her number. <gasps> but, Minister Tiberius, will that work? Surely she's not foolish enough to... Whether she is or is not is not of your concern. Just do as I say and call her number. Oh, and a no. Word of advice. Question my methods again, and I'll have you hanged from my... The building. lottery Isn't number. clear? Yes, Minister Tiberius. It won't happen again. Good. Now get out of my sight. I'm sorry you had to hear that. No! You know I dislike having to be unpleasant, but sometimes I'm left with no choice. <gasps> what the fuck is in there? Don't worry your sweet little head. You will always be safe, so long as I am here. No, what is he talking to in there? Attention citizens. It is now time for this week's vaccine lottery drawing. We are pleased to announce that the winning ticket number is 32111420. Oh, 420. Vaccination may be claimed at Willowdale Plaza, next to the Ministry of Medicine. Congratulations to the winner. Oh my god. I don't believe it. Denby. Well, at least Denby will get his vaccine. No, Amy. Don't you want to check on him? Oh, boy. I'm not the limp. Okay. I would go check on him if it were me. Attention, citizens. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of one Amy Weller is encouraged to report to the Ministry of Energy. Uh-oh. We're like a wanted criminal now. Oh, my God. Why doesn't she know that it's the a trap? The aristocracy strives to keep you safe. From those who would destroy our way of life. Oh god, okay. <gasps> Dad's well, well, if it isn't Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know how you found us, but you've got a lot of nerve coming back. Oh, Danton. Okay. You've really got the wrong idea. Do I? I'm not so sure of that. I'm not a traitor. I am not a traitor. Please stop denying things. It makes you look even worse. 
Tiberius destroyed our base and killed several of our people. You're the only person who could have tipped him off. You are nothing Beyonce's more than a mad. liability. I let you go before, but I'm not making the same mistake twice. You're oh. not leaving here alive. Oh, uh... You know, threatening people is an odd way of thanking them for their help. Help? Just exactly what have you done to help us? Did you forget already how I risked my life sneaking into Harrison's mansion in the Ministry of Medicine? I was doing exactly what you asked me to do when I got arrested and thrown in prison. Now I'm a fugitive, all because I was trying to help you. They put you in Rockwall? Nobody ever gets out of there. How did you escape? It's a long story. Oh. Look, I came here to see if you were still alive. I found your message at the old hideout because I was trying to warn you that Tiberius had located it. He tricked me. I was bugged the whole time. He heard everything. And I had no idea. I see. I'm sorry. We've been through so much in such a short amount of time, it's hard to know what to believe. So what did you find out in the Ministry of Medicine? A lot. The aristocracy is hoarding vaccine. Crates of it. Enough to treat the whole population. I knew it. Those bastards. Once the public hears about this... Forgive me, Amy. If I had known you were in Rockwall... It's fine. I got out on my own. Next time, if you could stop to ask me questions before trying to kill me, I'd appreciate it. So what now? We need time to think about our next move. This news is a lot to take in. You're free to stay here with us if you need to. I wouldn't go wandering around out there if the aristocracy knows you've escaped from Rockwall. Thanks. I appreciate it. Danton is very unstable. She wants the best for people, but her ideas are not completely thought through. Danton? What is it, Amy? There was so much vaccine. How long do you think they've been hoarding it? I don't know, but any amount of time is too long. But at least now, we have the information we need to bring about some real changes. So, considering I almost died finding all this out, is there anything we can actually do? Hi, For Lugo. now, I'm not sure. This is a fairly important bit of information we have. One option would be to somehow hack into the government PA system and spread the word that way. It would definitely be a welcome change from all those annoying propaganda messages and rigged lottery announcements. The only issue we face is getting some sort of proof to back up our claims. I think that will have to be our next course of action. You mentioned having lost a lot of people. How many? About six. They fought well, but there were just too many guards. We had no choice but to escape. This attack has left us severely weakened. It's going to be a while before we're able to even think about striking out against Tiberius. Right. Thankfully, Clem managed to warn us before they stormed the hideout. If it hadn't been for him, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Clem was a good man. That he was. He'll be sorely missed. Of all the places to hide, why here? It seemed like the last place the aristocracy would look. As long as we keep the reactor running, they'll have no reason to bother sending anyone snooping around. Besides, I wanted to come back here to make sure Milton didn't become raven food. He deserves a proper burial. Wait a minute. The lottery is rigged? Are you positive? Yes. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the vaccine hoarding oh, isn't Oh, they've the first never given the anything to anyone. Thinking. The aristocracy knows exactly who is assigned to each ticket and oh, can keep tabs shit. on them if the need arises. Why didn't you mention this earlier? You knew I had a ticket. Yes, I know, and I'm sorry. I didn't think you were in danger until we were attacked. Oh, no. Oh, no. Denby. Denby. What? I gave my ticket to my friend Denby. They called my number just before I came down here. Crafty bastards. They probably figured you'd give your ticket away. If someone else shows up to claim the vaccine, they'll take him in for interrogation to find out where he got it from. I have to stop him before he gets oh, to God. the Royal Plaza. You plan to enter that nest of vipers? I do. I don't suppose you'd care to help. We've taken a heavy hit. I'm sorry, but I just can't spare anyone right now. I figured as much. It's fine. I can handle this on my own. Godspeed, Amy. I hope you manage to get to him before the aristocracy does. I wouldn't wish a government interrogation on anyone. Oh, boy. Okay, Demi's in big trouble. Are you doing okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Good of you to ask. Well, thanks, Bruce. I mean, no, don't get, don't get too crazy over me or anything. All right, God, we gotta go help Denver. 
She's really jumped in, hasn't she? Yes. We could use more people like her. I just hope she knows what she's doing. <laughs> ben Shapiro. Oh, God. Damn it. I'm too late. That was him. Maybe I can still get to him before they do anything too drastic. Hi, Frida. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save because I think this next part coming up is tricky. Um... I haven't got time for that. I need to rescue Denby. Oh, geez. Uh, Branch? I can't reach it from down here. Bench? I can't rest now. I need to find Denby. Well, I'm looking at everything. They look too heavy to move. Um... If I go in through the main entrance, the guards will definitely catch me Yes, you can game Denby. over in this, yes. What if... Oh, you know what we could do? Put the rope to the crossbow and maybe climb up the tree? Right. This should work. What about that? Yeah, okay. I really hope this holds. Oh, no, no. Why are you doing this to me? I haven't done anything wrong. I'm afraid your assessment is not entirely correct, young man. I should have known this was Tiberius' doing. Where is he hiding? You had in your possession a ticket for the vaccine lottery, which was not issued to you. We cannot have the order of our system disrupted by people stealing tickets from those who earned them fairly. I didn't steal it! Then perhaps you would care to clarify how you came to have it. And please keep in mind you that we up, value too. the truth of all else. Drazen, thank Mine you. will have severe consequences. I, I found it. You found it? Yeah, in the place you guys raided in the market district. Hmm. It looks as though we will be here for some time still. Alphonse? Ah! Perhaps you'd care to tell me the truth this time. I quite hate having to do this. I can't just stand here and watch this. I need to help Denby. But how? Um, shoot the guard? I am telling you the truth. I got it in the rebel headquarters after you guys raided it. Maybe this will get them to stop. Ah, God. it seems I was correct to expect Miss Weller to show herself. Amy? Why did you come? G get out of here now! I'm afraid our young man has served his purpose. As you will. <gasps> Denby! I was left no choice, Miss Weller. Do not make his mistake. Don't talk to me, you monster! I understand your anger, but drastic measures are sometimes necessary to preserve order. Now, please, don't try anything foolish. I don't want any more bloodshed if I can avoid it. No! Amy! Going somewhere? Oh, him again? Yes. And you're in my way. You really are a feisty one. Oh, Jesus, Amy! Get him, get him with the syringe, right in the neck! Get him! Oh my god! <gasps> we got stabbed! Oh god. Amy! Not now. Not after all this. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ugh. The fuck? Relax. I've come to ease your pain. I am... You been in to check on her today? Not yet. I wanted to give her some time on her own. Her breathing's been getting stronger. Wouldn't surprise me if she's on her feet in the next day or two. Mm -hmm. She's just lucky you found her when you did. What the hell do you suppose she got up to to make the wig head so keen on finding her? I don't know. They've seemed to ease up a bit, at least. They're not patrolling the market district anymore, but the posters are still up. Have any more guards been here? Not after I sent the first one packing. What I really want to know is how she... You know, I'm right here. <gasps> Amy! Stone the Ravens! How are you feeling? Like hell. You shouldn't be on your feet too long in your condition. Come over here and sit. We'll have a talk. 
Oh. My god. I need a second. <laughs> Denby's gone. We killed one guard. And then we killed that other guard. But he stabbed us at the same time. So he's dead too. We've killed so many people. Oh my god. And we almost died ourselves. But it looks like we got lucky. Gus and Pop found us. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Whew. God, press F for Denby. I don't think you can actually shoot the guard that kills Denby. I think that that has to happen. I think you can only shoot the one that's not doing something. Ugh. Huh. Gosh. Well, thank goodness we're here and we're safe. Okay. How long was I... Yeah, this game does get dark, but don't worry. How long was I out for? About three weeks. Oh my god. Three weeks? That's... Oh, god. Yeah. It was touch and go for a while, but I, I knew you'd make it. You're a tough nut, Amy. Just like your dad. Danby did die, yes. Exactly how did I end up here? That's the thing. We don't really know. What? Pop sent me out into the field to pick up some of the sheep carcasses. I just found you lying there next to the fence. Do you what? remember what happened to you? I... not really. No. What's the last thing you do remember? This is about halfway. Um... Wait, we were in the square. How did we get over here? And we also saw that guy. Who looked like death himself. Did he bring us here? Or was that not real? Like, how did how did we get over here? I was trying to rescue Denby. Oh, we gotta tell them what happened with Denby. I was at Willowdale Plaza, trying to rescue Denby. Denby? What happened to him? He was being tortured by Tiberius. And I couldn't save him. I watched them torture him. It was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. I can still hear him screaming. I'm so sorry, Amy. But that wasn't the last thing I remember. There was more. I fought one of the aristocrat guards. There was a guard. A big guy. He cornered me outside and we started fighting. He stabbed me with his bayonet. That's how I was injured in the first place. But when I found you, someone had treated your wound and bandaged you up. Really? Are you sure there isn't anything else you've forgotten? That's... that guy? The Reaper. Is that who he was? I saw the Reaper. Come again? The Reaper. I was laying on the ground, bleeding out, and he appeared. You're not gonna go all zealot nutjob on me, are you? You know the Reaper's just a myth. But I also know what I saw. It was definitely him. He's real. He came over to me and said he had come to ease my pain. Thank you, Zed. He was dressed all in black, had a skull for a face, bony hands, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. He did look the part, didn't he? You sure the blood loss didn't make you delirious? If what you saw was actually the Reaper, the stories say that you should be dead. Yeah, he comes to I take the dead. I can tell you dead. firsthand that this ain't heaven. So who was it that fixed you up and brought you to us? It's him. I just know it. Well, I think we should just forget about it. What matters is that you're alive and safe here with us. I'm not staying here, Gus. There's too many questions I need answered. The Reaper didn't let me die. I need to know why. <gasps> I need to talk to those cultists. We're gonna go to the cult. You don't want to go near them, Amy. The Reaper Look, cult. I know you don't understand what's happening. I'm grateful for you looking out for me. I okay. am. Okay, but okay, But I okay. need to find the truth. Please accept that. Bad idea. The aristocracy's been looking for you. I can handle myself. You just spent the past three weeks in bed. Do you want to get yourself killed? What do I really have to lose at this point? Amy... Please. Well, if you're Amy. set on it, we know there's no stopping you. But remember, we love you. You've always got a place here. Amy, please take care of yourself. We can't lose you two. I'll try my best. This is the here, thing. Take this bolt. I know it's not a lot, but I can't send you out there unarmed. Thanks. This is the thing, remember? When we tried to talk to the Reaper cult before, they wouldn't let us in because we weren't ready to die. But did you see what Amy just said? She said, I have nothing left to lose. 
So that's it. I wonder if they'll let us in now. I'm gonna save it just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourself out there, Amy. Okay. The Cathedral of St. Stephen. That's where they are. Remember the pretty girl that was here that we liked? She's still here. Maybe she can help us. Hi there. Welcome. What may I help you with? I'd like to go in. Can I go in? That depends. Are you ready to die? Yes. Yes. I'm ready to die. Hmm. You lack conviction. You still need to prepare yourself to be ready to die. You should come back when you're serious. What? But I am... I am serious, though. No? Hmm. Maybe I forgot to do something. What have I forgotten? Oh, I know what I have to do. Remember how we couldn't go to the marketplace before? We're gonna be stupid and go there now. Oh, Marichka's here, okay. Hello, Marishka. Amy, get away from here. Guards are looking for you. Be careful. Thanks for the warning, Marishka, but I'll be fine. Please go, Amy. Do not stay here. Oh, Marichka. Hello, Marishka. Amy, guard. Thanks for. Please go. Wanted poster. I think I need to look at this Ripping as well. Ripping down a wanted poster isn't going to magically make me innocent again. Gus isn't here because he's back at the farm. Uh, excuse me? May I help you? Um... They won't let me into the cathedral? I want to go into the cathedral, but I'm not allowed. I had a feeling that might be the case. The doors will not open to just anyone. You must be truly willing to embrace death in order to enter. Mm, I want to join the Acolytes? I think I need to worship the Reaper. Well, this is certainly a different attitude from the last time we spoke. If I may ask, what caused you to change your mind? I'm ready to die. I... I'm ready to join. I promise. Are you? What troubles you? All this time, I've just been trying to survive, but compared to everything else that's been going on, it seems kind of pointless now. I mean, my green lung vaccine will be wearing off soon. Two of my friends are dead because of me. And the government wants my head. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to keep living like this. I'm lost. I need help. And I don't know where to go. You shut up too. It's all right. You came to the right place. Go talk to Claire in front of the cathedral. Okay. Tell her. You are ready. Thank you, History Good Master. Luck on your journey to death, young lady. May the Reaper take you swiftly and peacefully. Oh, that was it. I think that's what we had to do. Thanks. Oh, dear. That's right. So if you guys remember, the vaccine for Amy only lasted a month, and we've already slept through three weeks of it. Which means we've only got a week left. Hey, Gordon's not here either. I wonder what happened to him. God, I hope nothing bad. Oh, history a lot. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it at this moment, but... We don't know what happened to Gordon. Alright, maybe Claire will help us now. Hi there. Welcome. What may I help you with? I... I... Are you alright? You seem troubled. I don't know. Things have just been so hard, and... It's okay. You're safe here. Tell me what's happening. I'm just trying to make things right, but every time I think it's getting better, something worse happens. I didn't want any of this to happen. I just wanted to fix my dad's car before I die. So you're dying then? Yeah. I don't have long. Then, are you ready to die? I... I think so. Yes. I just want to see my loved ones again. Say no more then. Go inside and speak with our leader, Jess. She'll be glad to welcome you to the Acolytes. I'm scared, Claire. That's entirely natural. Just know that you are safe here. Nobody wants to hurt you. You're in welcome arms. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. Aww. 
I'm still scared. This is post-apocalyptic age. Ah, young lady. I'm so pleased to see you've decided to join us here. Please, make yourself at home and feel welcome. The Acolytes of the Reaper are glad to have you here to celebrate with us and await your time of passage to the Promised Land. Follow me and have a seat. You're just in time to hear their daily affirmation. Okay. Can't wait. Brothers and sisters, as another sun sets, we seek comfort in the knowledge that we are all one day closer to the Promised Land. Although no members of our flock have taken the great journey today, tomorrow still awaits. Always remember that no matter how terrible things may seem for us here, the Promised Land will heal all our pain and suffering. We are all here, born into this struggle, to come so far and end up returning to dust. Now let us join together in a moment of silence. Yeah, when do I get my top hat? And pray for a visit I want from one. him soon. Let the music and celebration begin. May death come swiftly for us all. Oh. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I think we have to talk to everyone. I shouldn't bother them. They're really into their music. I shouldn't bother them. There's a little child here. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Aw, she's cute. What's your name, kiddo? Maggie. What's yours? I'm Amy. How old are you, Maggie? Seven. That's kind of young to be in a place like this. Mommy brought me here. She's been coughing and tried to get better. Then I started coughing too. She says that if I pray to the Reaper, I won't hurt anymore. Oh. Okay. When did you start living here with the other cult, uh, the other worshipers? About two weeks ago, after Daddy died. Mommy and I were really sad, but one day, she went out to the market, and when she came back, she said she'd found a way for us to be with him again. So, we came here and met all these nice people. Sometimes, I still feel sad, but they help me feel happy again. Have a good day. May the Reaper take you! Uh. Okay. Same. Little, little child. Okay, who else can I talk to? Hi there, I'm Amy. Reaper bless our meeting. I'm Norman. Pleasure. Why are you here? So, what made you decide to follow the Reaper? Well, as you probably noticed, I'm no spring chicken. I lost my wife on blast day. My children both died of green lung this year. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Why would you say that? There was much suffering in their lives. Yes, I was sad that they left this world so early, but the Reaper tells us true. There is a better world beyond this one. To grieve for them when they are in the promised land, it makes no sense. I'll see you later, Norman. May death come for you swiftly, Amy. God. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. But I had some questions for you. I'll be happy to answer them. So, what is it you do in here? We wait for our appointed times, when the Reaper will appear to us and guide us through the ether to the Promised Land. Every one of us has an expiration date, if you will. We gather here and hope that ours will be this very day. When one of us does pass on, we celebrate them and ask the Reaper to consider us for the next journey. In the meantime, we enjoy each other's company and express our adoration for the Reaper and his grim task. Oh, why are you all wearing top hats? Can I get one too? Is there a reason everyone wears Lunch. a top hat? <laughs> As a sign of reverence and respect. 
Our leader has described the figure of the Reaper to us many times. He wears a tall black hat and long robes. He does. We've seen him. You must have noticed the symbol we have adopted to represent him incorporates the image of the hat. I did notice that. Hat gang! Yes. By wearing these hats, we feel a closeness, a kinship with him. How come Jess doesn't wear <laughs> Scourge McDuck! She chooses not to. Her reasons are her own. Can anyone join your group if they want to? Yes. Anyone who is prepared to face and accept the inevitable is welcome to join us. How do you know when people are ready? The sincerity of wanting to die can't be easily faked. When I first spoke with you, you clearly weren't ready. It was easy to tell when you were. Oh. Isn't it possible to misjudge? Of course. But most people who aren't truly ready to die don't normally stay in the flock for very long. It has happened before, and it's a pity to lose them. They're not really that bad. Will return I don't think they're that bad, to be honest. In a time like this, when you have, like, nothing else, I mean, this could be seen as a comfort, and it doesn't seem like they're hurting anybody. They're just trying to, like, band together as a group. What brought you into the flock? I was looking for solace. Last year, I lost my entire family to Green Lung. I was devastated. And one day, I was walking through the market district and, like you, happened to speak to a fellow acolyte. She told me about the Reaper, how we shouldn't fear death, and my eyes were opened. Rather than mourn my family, I should be happy for them. After all, isn't there no better reward than to be taken from this miserable world to some place better? They yeah. have known the Reaper and seen his benevolence. All I can do is hope for the same. My former life has no meaning. My future lies in the next world, and the Reaper will take me there when the time comes, so I may be with my loved ones again. Aww. Does that answer your question? I... yes. I think it does. I think you will find that many of my brothers and sisters joined for similar reasons. I'll speak to you later. I look forward to it. It's strange, isn't it? Wreckage. This wreckage is horrifying, but maybe there's something I can use. There's a loose piece of shrapnel here with a sharp edge. You can never have too many weapons. Hello. Hi there. I'm Amy. I'm new here. I thought so. Welcome into the Reaper's Embrace, Amy. I'm Ellie. Hi. What brought you to join the Acolytes? When my family found out I had green lung, they kicked me out. I wasn't angry at them, but I felt so alone. I hated the idea of dying with so many things left unfinished. But then Jess found me and took me in. She told me the word of the Reaper. I was so happy to learn that I could find a better life after death, that this was only one step in a larger plan. It's so much better to die happy and among friends than alone with no guidance. Have you seen your family again? My mother saw me preaching in the market once and ran away. They don't understand, but it's their choice not to. I have all the family I need here. Aw, that's I'm nice. I'm going to go now. We'll talk later. Have a blessed day. May death come for you swiftly. I mean, these people don't seem that bad, to be fair. Okay, uh... Window... It most definitely doesn't open. Hello? What? What? Hi? Fragmented waffle? Oh my gosh! That's not five dollars! That's not five dollars. We're in a church, and we're hearing the church. And History Master, 55. Drazen Flames, 6 months. Chaotic Aether, 7 months. Exactly 13, 137 honeybees. Subscribe earlier with Prime. Thank you so much. Green Lung is the disease that's killing everybody in this in this game. Uh, it's kind of like uh, COVID, <laughs> which is a bit weird. Uh, oh my god, Fragmented Waffle, did you... I hope you didn't, like, mistype that. I hope that's okay. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. That was way too much. Wreckage. I think there's other things we can look at in here. I'm not sure. Statue. Real marble. 
Nice. There's a door over what here. What doesn't fit? What the fu- I'm sorry, but only initiates are allowed in there. Oh. What the f Ah! Fragmented Waffle! You didn't have to do that! Oh my god, Kita, thank you for the host. Fragmented Waffle has gifted subs to Edo, Rice Baker, Tenny12, Reg Sard, Ho6N, Mittens of Rage, Strotherg, Remy Sleep, Rived Jargon, and Egisama. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you. I guess we have to talk to the leader now, Jess. Excuse me? Yes? She's a little bit, uh, she's a little creepy. Are you the leader of the Reaper cult? Indeed. My name is Jess. Welcome. I might have green I lung. I prefer yes. if you didn't use such a pejorative word to describe us, though. We're the Acolytes of the Reaper. Please address us by that name, if you would. Oops. Of course. I'm sorry. My name is Amy, by the way. A pleasure, Amy. May you find the peace you seek here. Oops, we did call it a cult by accident. We probably shouldn't have done that. I want to know about the Reaper. Can you tell me about the Reaper? Of course. Was there anything in particular you wanted to know? Uh, who is he? Who is he? He is our savior, the shepherd, the psychopomp. He is the one who would lead us to the promised land, the life beyond. Heaven? It has many names. Heaven, paradise, nirvana, the promised Hi, land. Hi, simple. But though the names vary, we're playing the Shard Light. The same. It's a point and click Can adventure game. Can you be game. sure it will be better? Or that there even is a promised land? Even if what lies beyond death is nothing but oblivion, it would still be better than this world. I suppose so. Hi, Splatoon. What does the Reaper do exactly? What does the Reaper do? He removes us from the misery of this life and takes us beyond. How? His legion of ravens patrols the skies and searches for the sick and dying. They appear to those who are near death and summon him. Ravens? Yes. We've ravens been having them follow us. That refuse <gasps> to sing. If you see one, it means he is near. That's what's been following us. I've seen quite a few of them, actually. Then consider yourself lucky, Amy. You are not long for this world. Oh. They've been, they've been following us through the whole game. The plot? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. We're like halfway through, so the plot is hard to describe. We're Amy, in a post-apocalyptic world where the poor are dying from a disease called green lung. Everything's wasted. The only people that are making it are the high aristocrats that fund the government and the government itself. Just those two. They shit all over the poor. And we just found out that the government's been hoarding vaccine and not giving it to any of the poor population, saving it only for the rich and the government themselves. Um, we were a double agent for the government and the underground resistance of them, but they got caught, and so did we. We broke out of prison, we're now a fugitive, and they ransacked the underground resistance, and we are, tr are about, like, ready to just kill over and die. We saw our friend get murdered, we almost got killed by a guard, and now we're here at the cult of the Reaper, wishing for death. That's pretty much where we are you right shut now. Up too. Oh my gosh! Heracross, thank you so much for 18 months. Why do you worship the Reaper? What's your reason for worshiping him? I was once a non-believer, but I had an experience many years ago that changed everything. What happened? I saw him, and I lived. <gasps> At first, like I us. didn't know why. But in time, I came to understand. I was chosen. Yes, yeah, saw. It became my duty to spread his word. Death is coming for us all. We must embrace it rather than fear. Oh, the art in this is so good, dog. You're a suicide cult? I asked you not to use that word. Right, sorry. And no, we are not. To die by our own hands would disrupt the Reaper's pattern. We all have our allotted times, and expediting those would anger him. So we wait and comfort each other in our last days. What doesn't fit? So Jess has seen the Reaper too and lived like we did. What the hell? I, my Streamlabs just like went caca cuckoo. Oh my god! What's happening? Fragmented! You don't have to do that! <gasps> you don't have to do that! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's the milkers! They're not even on the screen, dude! Oh my god, Fragmented Waffle has gifted subs to Chaotic Wolf Demon, Nymphia, Say7 Avex. Narrowfire122, Guy Kitsune, Chippadees, Sir Tall, 
Toking Doorknob, Flame Crystal, The Trolling Shuckle, Yuzhir Max, Jastali, Link M102, Agers 10, Iconoclasm 42, V3 Emberstorm, or V Emberstorm, Ellie 21, Everett Spare, Yep Wolves, and One Ton Hammer. Thank you so much. No! No! Ah. History Master has gifted subs to Poop Bug, Corgi Lion, Seifu 2, 9 Murphy M, Silver JD, Tim's Retro what Sessions, J Rush 13. No, stop! Please! You don't have to do this, you guys! You should. Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, we don't even have any music because every time I, I click off the game, the music goes away. Legacy's Lost, Dog Dad, Jenkins, and Dion. J Rush 13, thank you for the gift subs. Fluffy Scarhorn is gifted subs also. To Brie Bonus, SS Legend, Derragon, I'm on a J, Adventure Log, Some Random Smitty, Neras, Extraterrestrial, Sir Ananas, and Splatoon. Hottie Fruits, thank you for 30 months. The boy can you thank you for 30 months? Uh, thank you. Um, oh my god, we're at level 5 hype train, so the hype music is about to play while we're in the cult of the Reaper, looking to die. It's, it's on brand for us. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna cry. Excuse me while I cry to this hype music. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Woo, death! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Fragmented Waffle has <laughs> subscribed. You didn't even do any of that stuff before you were subscribed. Oh my god. No crying in the death cult. <laughs> oh my god. What's happening? <laughs> stop. <laughs> Please stop. Oh my god. Blue Flame Mage, thank you for the bit. Star Cold, thank you for two months. And Golden Fire Link has gifted a sub to August Storm. Thank you. <laughs> Lancer Eagle has gifted a sub to Horsewife. Uh, the Reapers are jamming. <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh my god. Sam is not Metroid. Thank you for 20 months. Zeta program. Thank you for the bits. <gasps> no! Child! I swear to fuck. <laughs> no! Child! I'm gonna kick your ass. I know where you live. Chilled, you pooper. Oh my god. Chilled like ice has gifted subs to WE champion Malco, Talitha 200, Mars Briota, or Betrona, Hectic Vexer, Derby Fro. Y'all better stop. No. 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 Baka. Dame yo. Dame. History Master has gifted bits. Thank you so much. Zeta Program has gifted a sub to Alvis Darklaw. Dolby has gifted subs to Hadoka Cute, Happy Tarts, Corporal Pimp, Cassette Cat, Atomamon, Void Katie with a bit. No! No! I'm gonna stop the stream! Oh my god! You guys, I just wanna make sure you're all like financially fine! Ugh. Why? Be careful with your money. Oh my god. <laughs> Fragmented Waffles gifted subs to Lucas BP16, Super Shy Super Guy, or Shy Guy, Super Shy Shy Guy. There's too many supers. 
Debs Navi, Ziggle Dragoon, Lydia Hat, Patty Vin, Graveyard Blues, Noir Kide, Pro Gamer 2019, Sleepy Solaria, Arrow Guard, Lamagia Live, Mac Duffel, Devil Cake, Boombox Windsor, Adam Bomb 2002, Mia the Loved, Eric Kid 2001, Potato Arcade, Becky Star, Blue Flame Mage with the Bits, Golden Fire Link is gifted sub to Philip Draco, <laughs> The Dark Dude with the Bits. You guys! <gasps> Thank you! Thank you for the hydrate! It doesn't show up on here because I'm a dingus. And I didn't put it on here. I don't usually stay this close up so long. Oh! <laughs> Please be careful with your money. Please. Please don't make yourself broke. Okay. Oh. Oh God. What doesn't fit? No, Ro, I swear to fuck. You know when they fix the fucking world visit, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna kick you in the booty. Ro Fizzlebeef has gifted us up to Chilling Cyndaquil, Duragal, and La 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 La. Pop Soda has gifted a sub. As soon as Streamlabs stops breaking because it's completely broken. Taniko sword. Oh, so many bugs. <laughs> ah, thank you, you guys. Are we okay? This is the best thing that's ever happened in a death cult. I agree. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh my god, Becky, a whole gift sub train just ran through here. Oh my god, ow! Ow, oh my god. Okay. Okay, I think we're okay. <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah! No! Okay, wait, okay, this is like a very serious part of the game! <laughs> oh, so many bonks. Ow! Ah! Uh. I cry in a death cult. Locals respond by throwing tacos. I think we're going to get kicked out of here. Oh my gosh. Let me at least put the sound back on. Oh, I need to take a sip. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm like parched from crying so much. Ah. <sighs> ah. God. Airy Chips, I'm so glad. This is, this is a game worth revisiting. A lot of people, um, I think were afraid of this game on YouTube, so they didn't watch it. So I wanted to show it off here. Because honestly, this game is, is really worth seeing. Really is. Oh, I'm like seriously crying in real life. Oh, you guys, you don't have to do that. I'm just glad you guys are here to hang out and watch me play like stupid retro point and click adventure games. Because like nobody likes those. But I do. Oh, you guys, thank you. Thanks for hanging out with your mom while she plays like old ass games that nobody cares about. <laughs> but this game is so good. Ugh. Guys, thank you. Okay. Ow. Ah. Um, okay. We got it. We're, we're still talking to Jess, the leader of the Reaper cult. Oh my god, my. <laughs> I cried so much that like my rig is out of whack. One second. I'm gonna try to fix it. <laughs> Okay, are we refreshed? Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, Jess, where can I find the Reaper? Help, he's gotta stop this mess. Do you know where I can find the Reaper? Your time will come. Guys, Just thank be you. Patient. Thank you so much. No, you don't understand. I've already seen him. I need to find him again. You've seen him? Oh yeah. Yes, a few weeks ago. Did he speak to you? He did. He said he was going to ease my pain. And yet, here you are. When like I saw you. him, I was fighting for my life. It took me three weeks just to stand again. I didn't want to die. Now, I don't know. I just want to see my friends and family again. I'm sorry you've been through so much. You need to find out why you were robbed <sighs> of your passage to the Promised Land. You need to have the vision. The what? It's a ritual we have for those who seek communion with the Reaper. It will allow you to speak to him and ask whatever questions you want. Oh, we're about to trip acid. It will lead you to a courtyard. 
Sit on the bench. Underneath it, you will find a decanter. Drink from it. Oh. You will soon go into a deep trance. If oh. you are lucky, he will come to you. We're about to drop That's some all I major to know acid. The for now. Very well. Oh, it's drugs time. Why don't you wear a hat like everyone else? How come you don't wear a hat like everyone else? When I saw the Reaper, the encounter left me feeling terrified. My hair turned white, seemingly overnight. Ham when I began spreading the no, word, I'm not. I decided to use my hair as a symbol of my encounter, as proof that what I saw was real. <sighs> to cover it up with a hat would be Zach, a disservice to your you. legacy. Can we cuddle with your fluffy tail? Yes. Yes, here it is. I don't fit all the way, <laughs> but here's my little tail. There you go. There you can grab it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What happened here in this cathedral? Like there's a plane through it, by the way. So why is there a plane sticking out of this church? The story goes that on the day the world ended, there was an airplane flying overhead that got caught in the blast. It ended up crashing into this cathedral, killing all those on board. Oh, sorry as well as everyone inside the building. Oh, God. That's awful. Is it? They were spared the misery of the world after the catastrophe. I rather envy them, to be honest. Have a good day. Boy. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. Uh, yeah, it's a little like Fallout because uh, the world kind of ended at a certain period of time. And now they're using, like, ultra-historic, like, figureheads and, like, clothing and things like that. And you know, rules to kind of bring them back to a different state. Oh god, okay, so are we ready to trip acid with the Reaper, you guys? Madeline the Millennial, thank you for the host. Are we ready to trip it with the Reaper? I think so. 421 blaze it. Oh, it's beautiful out here. I'd really rather not. Why not? It's, it's lovely. What do you think is in that that bottle? Something bad, no doubt. That would be disrespectful. Don't fear the reef. No coins in it, unfortunately. Okay. Sit on the bench. <sighs> here we I'm go. I'm so glad Gus and Pop aren't here to see this. What's in there? Ew. Bottoms up. Time to time to trip. Oh God. The Kool-Aid, we drank it. <gasps> Tiberius mask. Oh, my head is swimming. Whoa! What was in that decanter? Look at this place. Amy. That sounded like Clem? You've, You've sure, sure had a hell of a time, huh, Amy? Clem. How are you holding up? You know what you have to do now, right? I don't know. I'm just ready to give up. Yes, do sun steam. Yeah. I can help you. Follow, Follow me. me. Okay. Abyss. Take off the mask? I don't want to see what's underneath. Oh, Tiberius' mask. Yeah, we don't know. I don't think I can reach it. I don't even think it's real. Oh. Why are we here, Clem? I thought the whole point of this was to talk to the Reaper. You've got some jumbled thoughts going around your head. You need to get those sorted out. How am I supposed to do that? There's some folks who will help you with that. <gasps> hey, Amy. Danby. Danby! Hello again, Wellard. Oh, God, not you again. Oh, the guard we killed. Hey, kiddo. Dad. <gasps> Each of them is here to help you put your thoughts together. I'll just leave you to it. See you soon, Amy. Who are we talking to first? Denby, right? Denby, I'm so sorry. I wish I got to you in time. You didn't deserve this. Hey, don't apologize. It's not your fault. There's something I need to show you. Come with me. What's going on? You know how you've been seeing all those ravens? Yes, something has been bothering me about them. There they so are. So think about it. What exactly is it about them that's bothering you? Hmm, a raven with red eyes. This is like the one that helped me escape Rockwall. Hang on, 
I didn't realize just how crazy that sounds. How could a bird help someone escape from jail? I don't know. They Seems don't really kind specify of the period too. of time. But it's after a nuclear like bombing. It's just a regular raven, like the ones I saw at Crip Square and Pop's farm. All they do is wait to eat things and make noise. Sure, that's what ravens do, isn't it? Okay. It doesn't make sense. The ravens I've been seeing with the red eyes. I've never seen another living thing with eyes that glow. Are like they that. living? What sort of things have you seen that do? Shards, electric lights, artificial things. Oh. That's right. So that means these ravens aren't real? Makes sense to me. But they fly, and they clearly understand commands. Whoops. Of course. They're mechanical. But if that's the case, who's controlling them? Excellent question. You'll find an answer, oh. I'm sure. You should head back. Don't forget what we talked about. I, I won't. Goodbye, Denby. I miss you. Miss you too, Amy. Take care of yourself. Huh? Very Hello? good, Amy. Now jump. jump. The, the angels! Hello? No, fragments of waffle, stop! You've already given me so much. Please be careful. Like, financially, guys. Like, never give me anything. Like, honestly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, but honestly, guys, please be careful with your money. Please. I'm gonna save the best for last. I'm gonna save dad for last. Let's talk to this guard that we killed. Guys, please be please be financially responsible. That would make horse mom the happiest. I thought I killed you. Indeed. And I almost killed you. Luckily for me, that moment lives on in your memory. Let's go revisit it, shall we? Oh you know, god, I thought the needle. You were done for after our little disagreement. And then when the Reaper swooped in, pure poetry. Ham hams. There he is. No, what was it he said to you anyway? I'm dying to know. Thank you, he Becky. Said he could ease my pain. Oh, is that all? No. There's more. No, he said something else. Just as I was blacking out. What did he say? That's right. He did. What was it? I can't remember. Can't remember or don't want to remember. Okay, fragmented. Mental if you're blocks sure. sure are problematic, aren't they? Like, guys, if you did get your stimulus check, like, spend it on yourself. Buy something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I can't reach it from... There's a blade. It's probably sharp. And the syringe. I'd rather not get... You're in my way. Yes, that's the nature of mental blocks. What are you going to do about it? The Reaper and me. Talking to myself isn't going to get me anywhere. Oh my gosh, Scully Pendra, thank you. I'm gonna sing the dang song. Dang. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, what did the Reaper say to us that Amy forgot? What is it? I can't get to him. This stupid guard is in the way. Hmm. Talking to myself. I can't get to him. Talking to myself. You're in. Yeah. What do we have to do? I'd rather not get too close. It looks dangerous. I'm really sick of you. Oh, we have to do it again. Oh! We killed him again. Relax. I've come to ease your pain. I'm a doctor. What? Doctor? What? Dad? Dad, it's great to see you again. Great to see you too, kiddo. How have you been? I've been better. How come you never told me you were a rebel? Becoming a rebel was my choice to make. I wanted you to live as carefree as possible. 
The less you knew, the more time you could spend playing with your friends. Being a kid. I... I think I understand. Now, come on. We've got work to do. Right. Let's get back to work. It's been way too long. I don't pump. need to pump any... Fan. It's running fine. Quicksilver. Hey, the old girl's looking almost finished. You've done a great job restoring her, kiddo. Thanks. It hasn't been easy. We sure had some great times working on her, didn't we? Okay, let's get to work. Ah, oh, crap, I completely forgot. Gordon brought that fan in before. Said it was giving him trouble. I'll take care of it. Shouldn't be more than a couple minutes. That's my girl. Okay, we gotta fix the fan. Let's see here. He is handsome, isn't he? There. Kid stuff. Good going, kiddo. Now we can focus on the car. Right. Now we can get started. Oh. Well, wouldn't you just know it? If it's not one thing, it's another. Nelson's pump was always giving me problems. And I think this is symbolizing oh, how he never had time. Or well, they never had time together, because everything is always breaking. Right. This shouldn't take too long. That's too bad. Done. No sweat. Nice one. Finally, we can get started. Have you been able to find the missing parts? Daddy, I'm so sorry. I wanted to finish fixing it. Aww. I I wanted to have something to remember you by. But I've been so busy running the shop and then I got sick and I don't think I'm going to live long enough to be able to do it. Hey, hey. now, none of that. It's all right. You've been dealt a horrible hand, worse than most, and you've been so strong through it all. An old car isn't worth your life, kiddo. I just feel like I'm failing you. I'm so sorry. Failing me? Amelia Grace Wellard, you stop that nonsense right now. You've already done more with the Rebels than I ever did. It's gonna change the world. You've got too much left to live for. Too many people depend on you. You can't give up here. Okay, I, I know you're right. I think I just needed to hear someone say it. Aww. Thank you, Daddy. I'm your dad. It's what I do. It was great seeing you again. Aww. I love you. Love you too, sweetheart. Poor Amy. Get everything sorted? I think so, yes. Great. Time to send you back. Thanks for all your help, Clem. I'm sorry about... Don't you worry about that, Amy. I went out helping the Rebels. Couldn't have asked for much more than that. Now you get yourself back, and you do your part. I know everything will turn out fine. Is that it? <gasps> A raven! That was intense. Look, he's but right I there. I have more questions. I've got to find the Reaper. Only he has the answers. Wait a minute. Where did you come from? Look at it. Okay, you've obviously brought me something. Let's have it. What does it say? What? Lady Twiner, Montgomery White. Painted over a period of six weeks, White's portrait of Lord Reginald Twiner's daughter was his last major piece before turning to a career in medicine. Renowned for the expression in her face, White admit that the ladies concealed some secret. What that may have been is the subject of much speculation. One of the better known modern portraits that remains in the Twinner family private collection. Why did they give me that? For what? Huh. Okay. You shut up too. Welcome back. 
I hope you were successful in your communion with the Reaper. Thank you, sorry, Tag. I'm doing okay. We're actually going to wrap up soon because I am feeling like really shit. But I wanted to go through that scene before we did because I didn't want to like start with that and people be like, what the fuck? Let's go talk to Jess maybe and tell her what we what we saw. Well, did you have the vision? I did. It was certainly something. Wonderful. I won't ask any more. Each person's vision is unique and private, but I hope it gave you the guidance you were seeking. Oh, it did. Believe me. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. Do we want to ask Jess about this? Maybe? Hey, Jess. Does this mean anything to you? Where... Where did you get that? A uh, raven brought it to me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but... No! No, not at all. That painting, it, it's what started all of this. This is clearly a sign from the Reaper. I'm not quite following here. Eighteen years ago, I was keeping my friend Wilson company while he was on a lottery job for Tiberius. He had been sent to fix a water pump, and the ruins of the building it was in had a copy of that painting. When he had finished the job, I, I asked him to get it for me, and... And? Apparently, Wilson had green lung, but hadn't told me. He said he was getting the vaccine for his sister. I saw a raven right before Wilson collapsed. The Reaper appeared shortly after. He came to claim Wilson's soul. That's when I had my epiphany. Where did this all happen? It was in Sector 67, in a collapsed building next to a parking lot. Huh. It's a long shot, but it might be worth investigating. I can only hope the Reaper visits you so you may find peace. Yeah, thanks. Oh, okay. I'm gonna save it here, just in case. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're just gonna wrap up now. Is that all right? Uh, here's what I'll do, I think. Um, let me see if I can go over to uh, to Taco Time. <gasps> oh, I'm not there. It's okay. Hey, here I am. <laughs> Hi. It's okay. I'm back. Um, yeah. Let me put on some muse. Yeah, we're going to go look at the rest of it in the next stream for Shard Light because there's a lot left. So now that we know that the Reaper sending us a sign, we'll go start with that in the next one. <laughs> oh, guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. I did. I, I know that that game is really heavy, but we I don't want to go like too long today because like I'm also not feeling the best, but... We got about two and a half hours left on that, I think. Some of the stuff gets really in-depth later. But it gets a lot darker from here on in, so I think now is a good place to stop. Now that Amy's feeling a little bit better, and that she put some of her thoughts together. Hi, hi. Oh, happy. I'm sorry that you had a bad day. I'm going to give you a hug. Ready? Mm. We can hang out here for a couple of minutes, too, and chat. And say hi. Now I can go to sleep. Go to bed. The next stream is Friday. Starting at 4 Mountain, we're going to do Leech Suit Larry. Wet dreams die, dry twice. I don't know how far we are in that. I think we're almost like most of the way through of it. And then hopefully we'll finish that up. So this is like point and click adventure week. <gasps> Thank you, Pooh Bug. Thanks. Oh, I'm so happy that you guys like it. <laughs> it is, Captain. Yep, it's fine. How does this avatar work as well? <laughs> um, because I have a really good artist and rigor and technology. <laughs> I am in Mountain, yeah. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> There's no way to end Shard Light nicely. <laughs> Yes, the long drive will come back. People have asked for that as well. Probably next week. 
yep, Shard Light will finish probably next week also. So that'll be fun. Central is one hour in front of me, so um, four will be five for you. Too bouncy. <laughs> no such thing. Not in my world. <laughs> oh, you guys. Sorry, Tag. Thank you for eight months earlier. Guys, thank you so much. Everyone was so nice and generous today. Like, honestly, guys, you don't ever have to do that, ever. I want everyone to be safe financially and mentally and physically. To space! <laughs> oh... I want to thank you guys. You knew I wasn't feeling well and everyone was like so nice today through my scratchy voice and all. Thank God Shard Light is fully voice acted. You shut up too. Uh, Eastern time is behind me. So four mountain is six Eastern, I think. Yeah, yeah, six, 6 p.m. Aw, Indiana, thank you. I'm gonna eat and drink right after this, and then I might take a small nappy. A fat nap, if you will. Yay. Naps are great, and I love naps. Fat nap! <laughs> we all need a nappy. Mommy will put you to bed and have a nap, okay? Hey. <laughs> Oh, hentai, I'm sorry. Okay, hang on. Hentai, I got you. Here, one second, okay? I do this for you, friend. One, one moment. Okay. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> I do this for hentai. So he not get in trouble at mama's house. Hi. Hi, hentai's parents. <laughs> I swear it's not weird. I will. I'm not sick, you guys. It's it's the weather that's causing this trouble. I get I get migraines very easily when the weather's bad. Like if there's ever like a storm or a hurricane or like a Chinook or this crazy like 70 degree weather, then like freezing weather and snow the day after, then I get like major migraines and stuff and I feel like ass like completely. Ugh, oh, I just want the weather to, to chill the hell out. The ultimate despair Ugh, it's the worst. Pokemon. So I'm not sick. I'm just like really susceptible to what's going on outside. Poke Emblem, thank you so much for 13 months. It's just a real big problem though, because it like affects everything I do. Kita, thank you for 80. And August Storm, thank you for the bits. 80 months, Kita, that's like older than my ass. It snowed like bejesus the other day, and now it's like 65 degrees. I can't handle it. Geo, how are you, babe? I miss you. I miss your face. I just want spring. <gasps> but my tulips are coming up in the garden, and my, my garlic and rhubarb, too. That means in another month or two, we'll have garden streams. I'm so excited for those to come back. I promise I'm coming back to Final Fantasy XIV soon. I'm just not in the right mental space to handle a ton of emotional drama. So I haven't done Diamond Weapon, if anyone's asking. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of that cutscene, actually. I'm afraid of what it will do to me. <laughs> I have tried to play Celeste, but I'm not very good at it. Yeah, Syra, I know. I, kn I know it's going to be something. <laughs> I'm not ready. I need I need another like a couple days to get ready. <laughs> I'm in Calgary. Yeehaw, motherfuckers, cause I'm a horse. And this is horse country. <laughs> Hi Raptor. Hi. My avatar thing looks wasted. Uh-uh. I'm not wasted, I'm just tired as hell. <laughs> I'm old. So, but either one is fine with me, I don't care. <laughs> That's one. We're back on the high counter again. I promise I'm not high. I'm just really tired. <laughs> It 
it could be the same thing, yes. Uh, I have Balix, sir. I have. I, it's on my list, actually. Okay, hentai, look away because, like, I know everyone's ready for the boob. I'll just, I'll just show part of it. How about that? Okay. Can you give us a nay? <laughs> nay? I know what you mean, though. A horse sound. It, they're harder to do than you think. I look drunk? Nah, babe, I'm just old. I'm old and tired. <laughs> it's the best way to be. <laughs> I have not played It Takes Two yet, but I know that I've seen everyone play it. John and I would probably kill each other if we played it. <laughs> That's my tagline, old and tired. That's like the whole tagline for everything we do around here. <laughs> I have not played a way out yet, no. A booba. I've been doing a lot of voice acting work on the side, and I've also been working on the Coliseum bumper and the LP. And getting the garden ready. I've got like 5 million seed starts in my kitchen right now. So I've been doing a lot of stuff. I heard a way out is good though. Yes, I did. I do like JRPGs. On my YouTube channel, I have uh, playthroughs of Chrono Cross, Suikoden 1 and 2. I love Grandia. I love uh, Breath of Fire. I love um, older ones like Beyond the Beyond and the Manas and oh, good stuff. <gasps> I want Boba too. I'm gonna get Boba tonight, I think, if I can. I planted my ass and it keeps growing. I showed the bumper actually that I'm working on in the beginning of the stream. I, I hope you guys like it. It features me as a VTuber. <laughs> and a little glimpse into my life now. <laughs> oh, Beyond the Beyond is like one of those things that you either know it and or don't know it. And most of the people that know it are like, ew. But I love it. It's, just, it's so weird. I haven't done the Bravelys yet. I haven't had time. But they look good. <laughs> Sorry, hentai. I'm really sorry. Yeah, the people like made Golden Sun, which is another good game. They also made that. Guys, do we have a raid message for today? What do we have? Can anyone think of anything? Ba -ba -ba. I want to thank everyone for hanging out with me today. If you just came in and checked us out, I hope you'll check us out again. Thank you so much. Thank you for hitting that follow button if you did and any hosts. Thank you for tweeting about it, all that, you guys. I love you so much. Anyone that subbed or gift sub today for the first time or got one, um, definitely check out our sub discord if you'd like. It's a wonderful place full of happy, fun people where we ship post. You can talk about streams and vote for things on streams, talk about LPs. We have a gaming community, we have Final Fantasy XIV community, and more. And I would love to see you there if you'd like to join us. We watch movies together, we watch old 80s uh, shows together like Knight Rider and Price is Right and stuff like that. I would love to have you there. Please come visit if you'd like. Crying in the club. <laughs> the Reaper Club. Fake birds. <laughs> Crying in the club, and not a cult reminds me of Haruka's stuff, so I don't want to like bite her style. I think we'll do crying in the club even though it's long. That's a good one. Ah, uh, guys, I want to thank you and anyone that gave money, like as a donation or bits. 
You guys, you never have to do that ever. Like, not ever. But I want to thank you for supporting me. It's very much appreciated. But I also want you to be very financially responsible and safe with your money, okay? Because Horse Mom loves you and cares about you a lot. I really do. A Reaper Rave is good too. Oh my god. We did technically have a rave. Okay, let's do Reaper Rave. That's fun. People don't generally dress like the Avatar. Mine is. Well, I don't have a boob window sweater, but the rest is like me. I love you guys. It's hump day. The the week is half over. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to Friday and then the weekend. And it's gonna be so good. See, booba, spend mooba. That's ridiculous because I didn't have my boobs out this entire stream. During shard light, it was only my phase. <laughs> Ow! Why? Why did I get the bonk? What did I do? Aw, secret. I'm sorry that you're having a hard time, darling. I love you, okay? Here's one big hug for me to you, okay? Here it comes. <gasps> Ah, I love you. I hope you feel better. I hope whatever's troubling you goes away. I'm praying for you and I'm pulling for you too, okay? I'm pulling for everyone. I want you to have a blessed day and a wonderful week. Everyone be sweet and good. I know you can do it. I'm so proud of you. Horse Mom is proud of all her kids. Okay, let's go to Twitch and see who we can raid today. Who is on? Oh, apartment hunting. Oh, that is the worst. But when you find a good place, it's gonna feel so great, though. It's gonna happen. That is the. Uh, that is very stressful, though. I do. I feel you. That is stressful. No, I'm still part of TRG Coliseum. I was part of it last year too. And I will be a part of it this year as well. Oh my God. So many people are on. Whoa. Oh, Lamila, thank you. Yes, you can have head pats. Bup, 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 bup. Head pats. <laughs> oh, should we raid Taka? <laughs> I'm nervous, but I might do. Let's go see what Taka's doing and tell him about um, the Reaper Rave. Taka's awesome. He's so funny. Let's go get him. If it loads. What the fuck is you, dude? Oh, <laughs> we came into him screaming. It's fine. <laughs> he's, he's swearing like crazy. It's totally fine. What's the trouble with the Taka? Is it fun? Is it fun? He has a follow only chat, I believe, so follow him. He's great. You won't be disappointed. He's funny as hell. Reaper Rave. Bye, guys. I love you. Go get him. I will see you soon. I love you. Bye.